Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. I have a very exciting video for you today where we're gonna be opening up a brand new box, kind of. <laughs> so keep watching if you would like to see the very first quarterly box from Accio. All right guys, so Accio is kind of a brand new box on my channel. I have opened one other box from them, but it was their very last monthly box. And so in my hands, I have the very first quarterly box from Accio. Now I'm super excited because I feel like even though we've opened one of them, it's going to be a completely new experience. I really have no idea what to expect now that they are only doing it every three months. The price of the box went up a little bit too. So I don't know if we're gonna have like more items or just maybe really high quality items. I don't really have any idea what to expect out of this, but I'm very excited to be able to open it with you on my channel. So just to give you a little bit of information, this is the very first quarterly edition box and it costs $64.99 plus shipping. They did send out an email telling me that the theme of this is wizarding music. I can tell you that I've tried to think about it and I honestly have no idea what kind of items are gonna be in here. Now, before I give you guys a sneak peek into the box, I do wanna let you know that they did send out a few emails letting us know that this design that you see on the box is brand new. It was specifically designed for the new quarterly boxes. And I have to say, I really like the box itself. It looks kind of like a parcel or a package that you would receive in the Wizarding World. You can see that it has, of course, Accio, very big and bright on the front but it has kind of like these little images that looks like rope or twine that's been tied around it. And you can see there's a few stamps on here, but if you look on the back, there is all kinds of like little posters or postage. I think it's just really cute. I think they did a really good job with the box, but of course I am much more excited to see what's on the inside. So let me give you guys a sneak peek. Let's take a look at the very first quarterly Accio box. I still don't know what's happening. I just see a little bit of like paper items in here and then just black tissue paper. I will tell you that the box is pretty heavy. Oh, there is so much in here. Okay, I'm gonna show you because once I move that tissue paper, I can tell there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, oh. I don't know what it is, but I'm super excited to get into it. There's something that says the Accio pin box on the top of it. <gasps> Some, oh, this is something new. It says, Pin Magic Delivered. Something is coming. Sign up to our texts to learn more. It doesn't tell us specifically, but it looks like they are gonna be offering a new box that is gonna maybe just be for pins. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna be signing up to this Accio text messaging because I definitely wanna see what's going on. I've always really enjoyed the pins that I've seen come from Accio boxes. So this makes me very excited that they might have an Accio pin box. So I'll definitely be signing up for that. And I'll go ahead and show you the back of this card and you can pause the screen. That way, if you wanna sign up for these text messages, you can get those as well. But yes, that is very exciting. Not really an item, but just a little, a little reminder or a little sneak peek on the very top. Now I'm thinking this might be a cheat sheet. Let me double check. Oh yeah, a spoiler card. We're not looking at it. It's just going to the side. So right on top of the box, we do have what looks to me like a Weird Sisters lanyard. Now this is definitely something that I can see myself taking to LeakyCon with me because it's just very subtly Harry Potter. You can see that the lanyard itself is just completely black and all along it in some white and green kind of rock and roll font, it says the Weird Sisters. But then the second piece is almost, it almost looks like a little ticket, like a VIP ticket. And on the front here, you can see it says the Weird Sisters Magic Works 1994 World Tour. And of course we have the VIP all access ticket. And on the back, it gives you the performance date, which was the 26th of June, 1994. And it says the venue is Carket Market. But that is super cute. It's kind of, it kind of works two different ways because you can wear it like it's an actual usable item. I might actually keep this part of it to wear at LeakyCon and maybe Universal, but then you can kind of display the little ticket if you don't want to put it on the lanyard. So that's a really cute little item and definitely a good start to the box.
I just noticed that there is a t-shirt in here and you guys, I am so excited. Everybody always raves about how comfy and soft and just how wonderful the Accio t-shirts are. So I'm really excited to see what this is. I can tell you already that I am in love with the color of it. It's kind of like a minty color. I'm just very excited to see. I can see the Accio on the sleeve already. This is cool. So on the front, they kind of have it two-sided, which is really nice. So on the front, it just has a little thing on the side that says Wizarding Wireless Network on air staff. They have been sending out a lot of staff shirts, but you can see on here, it's nothing crazy on the front. But then on the back, it says the Magical World's number one radio network. And it has like a whole little radio back here. And it definitely just reminds me of like there's a lot of different, you know, things in Harry Potter a few times whenever they're listening to the radio, but it reminds me specifically of in Deathly Hallows whenever they listen to the radio like every night. But I really like this and you guys, they're not lying. This shirt is so soft. I cannot wait to wear it and see like how it fits and what it feels like. But the shirt itself is wonderful and I am so excited to finally have an Accio t-shirt. Now I can see there are a few items in here and I'm really excited about all of them, but we have something in here in a little box that says retro record player and it says air freshener set. I love the styling of this. This is very like old timey, like seventies kind of vibe. You can see it says three groovy scents on the side and it says made just for Accio. Now on the back, it says spins like magic. This item conforms to the International Statute of Secrecy and is not designed nor intended to be operated with the use of any spells, charms, incantations, or other forms of magic. The manufacturer claims no liability for injury or breach of secrecy caused by unauthorized use of magic in operating this device. It sounds like some kind of air freshener, but I have no idea what it could be. I do really like the little box it's in. It's super cute. Oh, it looks like a little record player. So I believe this is an air freshener for your car. You guys, I really have to get a new car or fix my car. I work at home, so I don't have to get out and use it that much. And it's just been in my driveway without a battery that works for a while. <laughs> but I can always put this in Chris's if I don't get my own real quick. So this little guy, you just plug it onto your air vent and it looks like a little record player. It has like the little record that I believe spins. Yeah. It spins and it says Accio on there with the little dial. And then for the scents that go inside of it, oh, I love this. This is so creative. The little actual scents that you put on it look like little records. We have this one that says the Weird Sisters on it. And you can see it's a little Weird Sisters album. We also have a Celestina's Holiday Spell. And then we have Celestina Warbeck, A Cauldron Full of Hot Strong Love. Oh, you guys, I am so excited about those. I don't wanna open them just yet because again, I don't know if I'm gonna put these in Chris's vehicle or if I'm gonna wait until I get my own up and running again. But once I do get this set up, I will make sure to give you guys like an Instagram story and let you know what each of these smell like whenever I use it. Now there is a really kind of big item in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out so I can see what it is. It almost looks like maybe some kind of blanket or something like that. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. It's like a beach towel, but it says it's a beach roundy because it is in the shape of a record. It says the singing sorceress beach roundy the picture of it looks like it is the album of a cauldron full of hot, strong love by Celestina Warbeck. So look at the image of it here. <sighs> now you guys, this is another one that I am probably gonna take with me to LeakyCon because it's gonna be me, Tabby and Chris and we're gonna wanna go to the pool at some point in time. And now I will have like a little 
beach towel that is a Harry Potter album and I think that is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. It'll be really hard to see the whole thing, but I wanna kind of feel the towel and see like what kind of quality we have going on with it. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, it is like a real towel. This is so cool. It's definitely beach towel like material. It's kind of hard to tell because the top of it's actually really soft. It's kind of got two different fabric feels going on. Like on the front, it's kind of softer with all of the design, but you can see on the back, it looks like a towel. But that is really cool. It looks like it's, it's decent size. It's not huge, but it'll be enough to take to the pool at the hotel. So I think that's super cute and I can't wait to take pictures with it while we are there. So I do think that was probably the biggest item out of the box, but there are a couple more in here. So let's see what they are. We have something in here that I'm thinking is going to be a notebook. Let me open it up here. I will tell you that the first thing that I'm loving about this notebook is kind of the theme that we've seen with everything so far has been like the magical acts that we've heard of in the books. You know, we have like Celestina Warbeck and the Weird Sisters. And that's kind of where my head was at when I was thinking of the wizardry music. I didn't even think about the frog choir at Hogwarts. This notebook says frog choir and orchestra established 1934, spring concert arrangement by Professor F. Flitwick, and it is the official song book. I will tell you that the notebook itself is very nice quality. It is a heavy notebook and it has all this gold foiling on the front. Like how beautiful is that? On the spine, it also says Frog Choir Songbook. And then on the back, it says, if found, please return to the Great Hall during choir practice. And it has Accio on the back of it. Now let's actually open this up and see if it is a notebook. Oh, look, there's all the little music notes in the front. And then you open it up and it's just a line notebook. You can see it has like a little gold bookmark in here, but it's just line, nothing crazy but I've said it many times, I love getting like notebooks and notepads and subscription boxes. This one's really nice, so I'll probably just put it on my bookshelf so it looks like we have an actual Frog Choir songbook, but it's very nice quality and I love that they put something in here that wasn't just in my head for wizardry music. So I'm gonna open this up first. I can tell you I have no idea what it is. But on the back here, it says, good luck, stay safe, you're not alone. And it says Potter Watch on it. You guys know I was already talking about the Potter Watch radio station. So that makes me excited. It's just a little black velvet bag and it says Accio on the front. There's something really heavy in it and I can tell you I have no idea what it is. Just to show you what I see, this has like everybody's name on it. It's some kind of little like medallion. What is this called? We dealt with one of these in the escape room with Tabby. A cipher, it's like a cipher. It says, keep spinning those dials. Property of Romulus, please return to the room of requirement. Destroy if captured. Look at that. I can't remember whose name was Romulus on Potter Watch. Let me see if this tells me. It says, good luck, stay safe, Potter Watch. And then you can move the name or you can move the arrow to a name. And then on the outside, it has other words like enchanted, speedy, magic, golden. I don't know what it means, but it is fantastic. It is 100% going on a year seven shelf. And again, the quality of it is amazing. I think this is a super unique item. I can't wait to read a little bit more about it in the cheat sheet, but yeah, that is very cool. So I think there's only one item left in the box and it's a little box. It says wizarding wireless network. Listen like never before. It says Accio presents Wizarding Wireless Network, a wireless speaker. Tune into your favorite magical programs with complete ease. Stylish, portable, and self-tuning. Now compatible with non-magical devices. 
So I'm assuming we have a wireless speaker in here. I'm very interested to see what it looks like, how they've made it into something Harry Potter or wizarding music related. Oh, it looks cool already. <sighs> so it looks like a little radio. And although it doesn't give me Harry Potter vibes right away, I will tell you that this little symbol on the radio is the same symbol for the Wizarding Network from our t-shirt. Let me see if I can show you. So you can see right here, it says Wizarding Wireless Network, and it has like that little circle with the little circle in the middle. And then the same little thing is on the front here, the circle with the little circle in the middle. So it's just a little wireless speaker, but it does have like a backward and forward button and a power button. I'm guessing this is maybe the volume, what looks like the little tuner on the side. You can see that kind of moves. So it's really cute that it looks like a little radio. On the back, you can see it has like all your different little plugins. Also inside the box, they do have a few little like adapter cables and cables that you can charge the actual speaker with. This is also a really cute way that I could listen to the Harry Potter audiobooks because I definitely need to do that because I am in need of a reread. All right, guys, so that was all of the items in the box. So now we can go ahead and look at our cheat sheet and see what everything was and make sure that we have all the items. So on here, it says all the best in magical radio, twiddling those dials. And it says the Potter Watch radio. So that's a really cute little cheat sheet. That's definitely one of the cheat sheets that you can turn into like a print to put on your shelves, especially because there is so little Potter Watch like replicas and merchandise. So I'm definitely obsessed with this already. So on the back of it, it says Wizarding Music, Accio Box spoiler card. Turn on the music and have some fun this summer. So they don't really have every item listed individually on here, but they have kind of like a whole little paragraph about them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read everything off. It says, since the Wizarding Wireless Network is the premier source of music, we had to bring you a buttery soft radio station staff tea. Imagine the various programs that must exist on the Wizarding Radio and let us know in our Prefix Facebook group what kind of show you'd host. Naturally, we couldn't bring you a staff shirt without giving you a way to listen to the programs. We do warn you to be careful using the wireless Wizarding Wireless Network radio around non-magical folks. And to help with that, we've added a feature to allow the radio to work with non-magical devices. Need the latest password to access secret radio broadcasts? Be sure to consult your Potter Watch password maker. You can also use it to create your own passwords. The funnier, the better. So I don't know exactly how you use that to get the password, but I do specifically remember them like talking about the different passwords that you had to have to be able to listen to the radio. So that is a really cool little item. It says summer means spending time outdoors for lots of people. So we wanted to bring a bit of magic to that. Our Celestina Beach Roundy lets you stretch out and enjoy your favorite wizarding records. It's perfect for the beach, picnics, or watching your favorite magical bands perform in the park. Take the gorgeous Frog Choir Songbook Notebook with you to jot down ideas, notes, or anything that crosses your mind. Take the magic on the road with the spinning air freshener. Clip it to your car's air vents and watch it spin away, wafting the scent through the car like magic. Finally, what's a music-themed box without a lanyard and backstage pass? It's perfect for part of a costume, as a display piece, or even wear it to a concert if that's your style. So now that we went over the cheat sheet, let me go ahead and tell you guys my favorite and least favorite items out of the box. I can definitely say that I do not have a least favorite item out of this box. Everything that I pulled open, I really, really enjoyed. So I guess we're just going to have a favorite item. I think for my favorite, <sighs> There's a few items that I really, really like. I think the first one is going to be the Potter Watch Password Maker. I specifically just love that it says Potter Watch on here and it has a lot of the different names and some of the different, just very magical Harry Potter words on here. Again, I just love that we have something Potter Watch related that I can put on my shelves. It's very good quality and just a really, really nice piece. So that's going to be my first favorite item. I really also enjoy the 
air freshener. Specifically, this part of it isn't anything crazy magical for me. It just kind of looks, you know, like a little record player. But I absolutely love that it came with three magical themed records to go in them. It's going to be just a little way to make your car feel a little more magical. Having some Weird Sisters or some Celestina Warbeck on the record that is your air freshener. So I think it's really cute. I think it was a very unique idea and it's definitely going to be my second favorite item. So now that we went over my favorite and least favorites, I do want to let you guys know how I felt about the whole box. I was so excited to open the very first quarterly box from Accio, just because I really didn't have any idea what we were going to see out of it. Accio always gives boxes with a lot of usable items, and with the price going up and them only coming out every three months, I just really wasn't sure what to expect. Now, opening this box, I think instead of going the direction of just putting more items in the box, they just really focused on the items that they had, making them really nice quality. Sometimes, especially for me, I prefer quality over quantity. I don't mind that there weren't, you know, just a crazy amount of items in here, but the fact that I really enjoyed each item and I think they really put time and design into it is just fantastic. So I am very excited that I got this box from Accio. I definitely can't wait to see what they have for the September quarterly box. And yeah, I was just overall very impressed with this. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought about this box as a whole, what your favorite and least favorite items were, and just what you think about the direction that Accio has taken with these new boxes. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.